hernia is an abnormal bulge of a part of the body. An inguinal hernia occurs in the groin, in the area known as the inguinal canal. This is a space within the layers of muscle of your abdominal wall. When a hernia develops, organs inside your abdomen can go through this. This includes your small and large bowel and a fatty part called the omentum. Organs inside your abdomen are supported, protected and held in place by several layers of muscle. A hernia occurs when these muscles become weak. This allows the space known as the inguinal canal to get bigger, allowing organs to enter this space. Quite often, an inguinal hernia has no apparent cause. There are some factors that may increase your risk. Most of these are related to an abnormally increased pressure inside the abdomen, like straining during bowel movements or passing urine, strenuous activity, or a long standing cough. Sometimes, you may have a weakness in that region from birth. The muscles also get weaker as you grow older. Some people with a hernia may not develop symptoms. An inguinal hernia may cause pain in the groin. This is an aching type of a pain and it may get worse when you bend or lift a heavy object. You may also get a heaviness or a dragging sensation in your groin. You may also notice a lump or a swelling in your groin. As this gets bigger in males, it may even extend to the scrotum. When the doctor examines you, he will look at your groin to assess your hernia. He will check where the hernia begins on your abdominal wall and how far down it extends. He may ask you to stand or cough to make the bulge bigger. He will also check if the hernia goes inside completely. The majority of patients with hernias will not develop complications. One of the first complications to develop is irreducibility. This means the hernia will no longer go inside completely. This is not painful. The contents inside the hernia can get compressed at the narrow opening. This may reduce the blood supply to the bubble inside the hernia. This is known as strangulation. This will be very painful. This compression can also block the intestine. This is known as an obstructed hernia. If you notice any of the following, it may mean that you have developed a complication. Nausea and vomiting, sudden pain that worsens quickly, a hernia bulge that has become red, purple or dark, not passing stool or gas, or fever. If you develop any of these features, you need to go to a hospital immediately. An inguinal hernia is not going to improve on its own, nor be cured with medicine. 
you will therefore need surgery unless there are exceptional circumstances. An inguinal hernia repair is a commonly done surgical procedure. The surgery uses a mesh to further strengthen the area to minimize the chance of a hernia coming back. This surgery can be done as both an open procedure or a laparoscopic surgery. In open surgery, doctors place a small cut over the lump and perform the repair. In laparoscopic surgery, the surgeon uses three small cuts to insert special instruments and operate. Laparoscopic repairs are commonly done if you have hernia on both sides or if your hernia has come back after a previous surgery. Laparoscopic surgery is associated with less pain, less scarring and a quicker recovery. Open surgery can be done under a general anaesthetic where you are not awake, spinal anaesthesia where you are numb from the waist down or under local anaesthesia. Laparoscopic surgery requires general anaesthesia. When you go home after surgery, you will be given medicine to reduce the pain. You may also be given antibiotics because a mesh was used. Rest and gentle movements are important for recovery. You must gradually get back to your normal lifestyle. Heavy lifting after surgery is best delayed for a few weeks. You will be given instructions on when to meet the doctor again. This may include removal of stitches on your skin. Men may find wearing an athletic support help with any pain in the scrotum. If you notice any of the following features, you need to contact your doctor or go to the nearest hospital immediately. Severe pain or soreness, bleeding from your incision, difficulty breathing, chills or fever, warmth or redness at the site of surgery, trouble urinating, or pain or swelling in the scrotum that is getting worse. If you regularly lift heavy objects, you need to ensure that you are using a proper lifting technique. You also need to maintain a healthy body weight. You should avoid constipation. Smoking and a long-standing cough also increases your risk of developing a hernia. You should therefore stop smoking. If you would like to know more about this or have any questions, please leave a comment below. You could also comment on any topics you would like me to cover in the future. Thank you.